Hello guys, welcome to the 2021 video view Polo Golf. It looks facelifted and brings matrix LED headlights, digital instruments and a big 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 car safety tech that has been upgraded into it. So you know what, let's go have a look at it and then when we're done, we'll try and touch on what has been taken out and added on to make it this better this time around. Okay, so enjoy it. Volkswagen's Polo is a giant one among the small cars and in a career spanning over almost 50 years it has shipped over 18 million units and regularly ranks close to the top of the bestseller charts proving Europeans love competent but dull cars. To ensure it stays there and to make it slightly less dull, Volkswagen has given it a mid-life refresh applying a touch of the MK8 Golf's design and some tech features more usually seen on cars like you know the flagship Touareg SUV about the refresh or freshened new technology this being a facelift rather than a ground up build the major visual changes are limited to the lights and bumpers LED headlights and tail lights are standard on every model the front units connected by a, an illuminated strip at the base of the radiator grille or you can actually upgrade them to the adaptive metrics LED technology from the Touareg and the Passat. That is not the only big tech the Polo received or inherited. Volkswagen has actually bundled various assistant systems together and given them the IQ Drive Travel Assistant tag. And those extra cost systems include adaptive cruise control and lane keep assistance though a basic lane guidance system is standard on all models okay so that is what we wanted to touch on however let's um, move on into the interior where we think um, some significant changes or upgrades have been done um, in there so you know being in the car the sensible polo still looks quite conventional compared to the latest golf but it moves up market with a kit like the optional climate control whose touch sensitivity temperature buttons look cool but are going to be paying to use based on experience with similar setups in the Golf and then the ID4. Again, new. top out with the GTR. VW has yet to reveal any more details about the hot hatch version of the new Polo, but the R-Line's crude tailpipes give it a hint of a hot hatch even if it doesn't have the power to back it up. Now, once it comes to power, you are probably wondering what is under the hood or the powertrain, and so the GTI's late appearance mean that the Polo launches with four engines. The first of which is a 1.0 liter triple and everyone turbocharged, save for the lowly 79 brake horsepower MPI. Those who drove the pre facelifted Polo with the same engine claim it's really slow, and you will genuinely be checking that you haven't selected a third year instead of a first year when you pull away. Now, to round it up, we have the more appealing. Um, one which is a 94 horsepower and then the 109 horsepower turbocharged versions the earlier the Mika version which comes with a choice of 5 speed manual or a 7 speed DSG while the 109 one um, is DSG 
only some markets also get the cng that's a compressed natural gas option and so the new polo goes on sale in europe towards the end of 2021 and prices are yet to be determined once we are updated on that front we'll update this video and make it available to you so remember to subscribe and put on your notification bell and if you enjoy content like this kindly slap a thumbs up to the channel to help us do better okay so have a great day today enjoy yourself until we meet same time again bye bye